Hey there, my name's Jessica Jordan. I run Field Place Pottery in Worthing. Welcome to my tiny studio. Today we're going to be making a beaker. This is something that we've been doing in class for this very week and I hope you enjoy the workshop. At the moment I'm just rolling out the clay and preparing it so I can cut it to shape. I have a template that I have already drawn out and I'm going to use this to cut around. I'm just about to smooth down the top surface so this is nice and smooth to drink from. I use one of my sticks just to bevel the edge so that when the two sides come together, they go together nice and flat. Now I'm going to score each side with my serrated kidney and add some water. Score over the top again. And now I'm going to shape. I pull both sides together, meeting at the top first, and then join all the way down. Using a flat knife, I'm now going to pull the seams together on the inside and out. I'm just going to use my hand on the inside of the vessel just to push out the clay but also use my whirler to help me get it to a perfect round. At the top I'm going to use a small round bowl just to bring it back to a nice round circle again and use my fingers just to taper the top. Now onto the base. I roll out a small piece of clay. I'm going to use a piece of paper just underneath this to go on top of the whirler. Otherwise the pot will stick to your whirler. At this point I'm just marking round my vessel, scoring up with a serrated kidney, adding some water to make some slip and score again. I need to score the base of my pot and then place back where I have marked. Then I'm going to use my knife just to cut around ever so slightly and then go again just slightly smaller this time, so I've only got a small piece of clay at the base. Using a wet finger, I'm going to run my finger along the bottom of the pot. This pushes the clay up onto the surface and then use my knife to finish off. So once I'm happy with the attachment of my base, I will add a small coil of clay just to the inside, just down at the base. This is to help to strengthen the pot, as we will be adding hot water to this at a later date, once fired. Use a little water and a wooden tool to help me attach the inside coil to the inside of my pot. Then a wet sponge just to smooth the inside so it's nice and tidy. Just using the tips of my fingers just to smooth the rim of 
the vessel out. Then I use my hand just to push some of the clay outwards. This makes for a much nicer shape. I'm constantly readjusting and reshaping the pot. I use a small round bowl just to bring it back to a round every so often. At this point I'm just using my hands just to smooth over the surface as well as one of my knives and kidneys. This just helps to take out any imperfections on the surface of the vessel. Once the vessel is dry, I will cut the top just to straighten it out. To give the appearance of a much smoother and finer rim, I'm just pinching the clay just through my fingers. All I have here is a little plastic vessel that I'm going to just put on the inside and this is going to stop the vessel from caving in whilst I do my decoration. This is some white slip that I've made up and this is one of my transfers that I've been working on. So I'm just going to trace around this little heart and cut this out. The transfers are made up of underglaze onto rice paper. I'm going to use my white slip to reactivate the black underglaze on the transfer paper. I'm just going to place this bowl on the surface of my pot to make a nice round circle. Using some red underglaze, I'm going to fill in the nice round circle that I've just made on the surface of my pot. Underglaze can be attached to any surface, whether the clay is leather hard, bone dry or even fired. Leave the underglaze to dry just for a little while before attaching your transfer. I can see that my transfer is ready because the surface is tacky but not too sticky. And then I just attach this to the surface of my vessel and push in with my finger. Then using the rubber kidney, just buff over the surface just to smooth out and help attach your transfer to the pot. A little bit of water just dabbed over the surface as well. This helps to reactivate the black underglaze ink. And there we have it. One transfer onto the surface of my clay. If you find the transfer doesn't quite come through the first time, just push it back, rub over with your kidney and then try again. Happy making!